Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am doing a tag video today. Sorry if my nose sounds stuffy. I have terrible allergies and apparently live in one of the worst cities in the country for allergies. So I've just been sneezing all morning and it's just a thing that's going to keep happening. Anyways, I was tagged to do the coffee book tag by Elena from Elena Reads Books. So that is what I'm doing right now and let's get started. Alright, so the first question is Black Coffee, a series that is hard to get into but has hardcore fans. And I I couldn't really think of one. I had a few that I was like, uh, but I don't feel like any of them are hard to get into. Most of the ones that I was thinking of are hard to stick with. Like, for instance, the Mistborn series. I feel like it's easy to get into that series, but it it's... For me, it's been harder to stick with it because they the books sort of drag a little bit. But I also wanted to mention a series that I don't think I've heard anyone else talk about on BookTube, but that I think is definitely a great one and should have more hardcore fans. And that is the Pink Carnation series by Lauren Willig. It's a long series. I, it, I think it's going to have 12 books or 10 books. I can't remember. The last one will be coming out in... August or September of this year and it's basically like these this series of books and they're all related like it's a continuous sort of thing happening but they're sort of a little bit standalone-y on their own and I think two of the books actually are standalones for the most part um, because there's a Christmas and a Halloween book um, but basically they are historical romances and it's like spies in uh during the French Revolution and it's like set in France and London and then some of it is set in um, like the Middle East maybe? I don't remember. There's one book that sort of branches off into another place entirely that is not in Europe. But they're really interesting books and they're fun and they're light reads and they're something that especially if you had the whole series I feel like you could fly through. I think at one time when I was like three behind I read like three of them in in a very short time span. I just read them back to back because they're so much fun to read and I just don't hear anyone talk about them. And I will actually be doing an author spotlight on Lauren Willig very soon and I will talk about those books a little more in detail if you find that you are interested in that. Question two is Peppermint Mocha. Name a book that or series that gets more popular during the festive times of the year. And I have two for this because apparently I can't just pick one thing. Uh, the first one is My True Love Gave to Me, which is a collection of short stories from a bunch of YA authors. And I read this this year and I really enjoyed it. And it's definitely a Christmas book, so it gets more popular. And the other one is A Christmas Carol and Other Christmas Writings by Charles Dickens. And this obviously again Christmas stories and I feel like this gets a lot of attention closer to the Christmas season. Number three is Hot Chocolate, your favorite children's book. I've said this many times, Wacky Wednesday will always, always love this book till the end of time. Number four is A Double Shot of Espresso, the book that kept you on the edge of your seat from start to finish. I did that thing that I do where I almost ruin the book for myself where I get anxious and I flip forward and look for things and I did this pretty much throughout the entire book because this book had me so anxious and so just like interested. I read this so quickly because I wanted to know what happened and yes, this was definitely my double shot of espresso. Question five, Starbucks, a book that you see everywhere. Yeah, Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty is everywhere now. I I really didn't think that this was going to be as a big of a sensation as it is. I mean, the book itself is worth it for sure. It's great. It's wonderful. Um, but I see it everywhere. Like, I see it at my used bookstore. I see it at every bookshop I've, ever, I've been to. I see it on Facebook constantly. And I know that they're making either a movie or a miniseries, something like that, out of this. I know Reese Witherspoon's going to be in it. Um... And so it's just, it's blown up and it is everywhere. Number six is Hipster Coffee Shop. Give a shout out to a book by an indie author. I actually don't think I have any books by indie authors, which is kind of a shame. I might and I just don't know it, but I would love to hear what some of your favorite books by indie authors are. So if you want to put those in the comments, I will definitely look into those. So number seven is Oops, I Accidentally Got Decaf. This is a book that you expected more from. And I'm going to have to go with The Rules for Hearts by Sarah Ryan. 
it is the sequel to the book Empress of the World and Empress of the World is a book that I loved as a teenager and that just still holds such a special place in my heart and the rules for hearts came out quite a bit later than the first book and it follows Battle's perspective who is an, one of the main characters in Empress of the World and it sort of gives her perspective after Empress of the World and I just didn't love it. Like I thought that it was sort of a letdown to Empress of the World and I don't know. I just I just wasn't fond of it and so it 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 didn't live up. Number eight is The Perfect Blend, a book that was both sweet and bitter but ultimately satisfying. And that is a book I actually don't talk about a ton on my channel but one that I absolutely loved and is quite a classic or modern classic. I don't know which one it's considered and that is Gone with the Wind. This book was so many things and I feel like if you haven't read it you owe yourself to read it because it it's heartbreaking and heartwarming and just like it makes you think about so many things and this is one of those books that I constantly think about and I don't know it had a profound effect on my life I feel like and I definitely think that it was bitter and sweet and absolutely satisfying. Alright, so that was it for the coffee book tag. I have a feeling a lot of people have done this, so I'm not actually going to tag anybody. But if you want to do it, definitely feel free to do it. I would love to watch it, so let me know if you do down in the comments, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!